Hello and a warm welcome to World This Week by Latest Laws. This is a weekly program, so hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos. My name is Vasvi Bhatia and let's begin with Supreme Court this week. The Supreme Court has observed that one cannot claim negative discrimination qua the persons who have been erroneously granted the benefit of regularization under Article 14 and 16 of the Constitution. Supreme Court judge spoke about the need to Indianize the post-colonial judicial system in the country, with the focus shifting to the right of the litigant to demand justice and not pray for it. Next, we have the Delhi High Court. The High Court of Delhi, while annulling marriage between a husband and wife after 16 years, has held that the failure to disclose a vital factor that could decide the course of relationship amounts to fraud. The Delhi High Court of recently comprising of a bench observed that the breath analyzer test should be conducted to the extent feasible in a much bigger and an open area at all airports. High Courts of Delhi were dealing with the petition filed under Article 227 of the Constitution of India impugns the order dated 10 September 2021 passed by District Judge Commercial Court 2nd of Delhi whereby the Commercial Court has held that the suit filed on behalf of the petitioner plaintiff company does not fall within the definition of commercial dispute under Section 2, Subsection 1C of the Commercial Courts Act 2015. Next, we have the Meghalaya High Court. Meghalaya High Court bench, while dealing with the public interest litigation concerning the COVID pandemic situation in the state of Meghalaya, ordered the state government to not relent on the vaccination drive or try to persuade people to take the vaccination or even provide for disincentives upon their refusal. Next, we have the Manipur High Court. The Manipur High Court bench, while dealing with a plea filed by an association working for the welfare of the transgender community, has held that the state government must ensure that it is made known to the general public that the benefit of the Chief Minister's COVID-affected livelihood support scheme is also available to those households where either a member or the main bread earner is a transgender person. Next, we have the Bombay High Court. The High Court of Bombay has resumed physical hearings for the benches functioning at principal seat at Bombay, benches at Nagpur, Aurangabad and High Court of Bombay at Goa. The advocates and parties in person may mention their matters for circulation, production, etc. Physically before the concerned benches, the advocates and parties in person should follow strictly the instructions in the SOP, that is, SOP for physical hearing, published on official site of Bombay High Court. Next, we have the Gujarat High Court. In an important judgment, the Gujarat High Court made it clear that according to the law, no person can force his wife to cohabit or establish conjugal rights and upon refusal by wife to cohabit, the wife cannot be forced to do so by a court decree. Next, we have the Madras High Court. The IAS officers who don't bother to comply with court's orders should be stripped of their IAS cadre. The High Court of Madras said on Saturday, in case of non-compliance with the orders of this court, it is time and again made clear that fine will be secondary and imprisonment will be primary, the court added. Confirming a rape conviction, the High Court of Madras noted that lack of violent resistance by a victim does not amount to consent. The High Court in its order said mere absence of a valiant and violent effort on the part of the victim certainly does not amount to consent. As Justice explained that one must step into the shoes of the victim and see the entire episode from her perspective, the news agency reported. Next, we have the Calcutta High Court. The Calcutta High Court bench descended vigorously on the official of police, Bidanagar Police Commissionerate, for assigning all matters of the cybercrime police station of Bidanagar to only one particular lawyer, leading to frequent disruption in court proceedings owing to repeated adjournments sought on that lawyer's behalf. Next, we have the Punjab and Haryana High Court. Allowing a writ-seeking police protection, the Punjab and Haryana High Court held that there is no le illegality in a Muslim girl of 17 years age marrying as per her choice. The single judge bench noted as per Muslim law, the girl is competent to enter into a contract of marriage with a person of her choice. Next, we have the Karnataka High Court. The Karnataka High Court recently, through a notification, notified that from January 1st, 2022, all the departments of the central and state government and its affiliated offices are required to file their cases, petitions, pleadings and documents through an e-filing system. Next, we have the Jharkhand High Court. The High Court of Jharkhand recently observed that while taking cognizance, the court is not required to consider the defence version nor it is required to evaluate the merit of the materials or evidence of the complainant. Next, we have Chhattisgarh High Court. 
In a case wherein the wife stayed away from her husband for 11 years, the Chhattisgarh High Court has allowed decree of divorce under Section 13 1B of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955. Next, we have miscellaneous news. The rooftop of the Darga located in the district civil court premises in Dharwad, Karnataka was cleared. The district judge had written a letter to the deputy commissioner asking him to begin steps against unauthorized construction on the roof of the Hajrat Sayyad Ismail Shah Qadri Rehmatullah Darga situated in the coach premises and also against the selling of gutka and pan masala in the Darga premises. Finally, we have the international news. A South African court has halted oil giant Shell seismic testing for oil and gas along the country's eastern coastline pending a final ruling. The decision has been hailed by environmentalists who fear that the sound blasting will harm marine life. Shell said it had paused its operation while it reviewed the judgment. Plaintiffs who accused Alphabet's Google of unlawfully tracking their internet use while on incognito browsing mode can question Chief Executive Sundar Pichai for up to two hours, a California federal judge has ruled. The court ruling against Memorial International, the group's center structure, caps a year that began with the jailing of President Vladimir Putin's top critic Alexei Navalny and saw a historic crackdown on rights groups and independent media. This is a weekly program. To get more information, check the description box and to get weekly updates, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.